Hey there! Today I'll show you how to create glass morphism style icons in Adobe Illustrator, using this communication icon with two speech bubbles as an example. To start I'll create the first speech bubble using modular grid and simple shapes. And then combine these elements into a single shape. Now I'll select the corners using the direct selection tool and round the corners to 24 points. I'll move the speech bubble to a lower layer for convenience. Next, I need to create three circles with a diameter of 24 points in the center of the speech bubble. Let's adjust the colors to make them more harmonious. Now I'll move the entire composition to the upper corner, duplicate it, and reflect the copy vertically. Then, I'll change the colors for the second speech bubble. After that, I'll select the circles to apply a gradient for the stroke, with a thickness of 0.25 points. Next, I'll duplicate the second speech bubble, remove the fill, and add a 0.5 point stroke. I'll apply a gradient to the stroke to create a glass reflection effect where it intersects with the first speech bubble. The next step is to duplicate both speech bubbles. Move the copies to the top layer for convenience, and recolor the lower speech bubble to black. Then I'll apply the Gaussian blur effect to both elements. I'll slightly offset the black element, and move it to the back layer. Now, I'll duplicate the second speech bubble. This copy will serve as the base for a clipping mask. I'll do the same for the first speech bubble. Its copy will be the base for another clipping mask. Afterward, I can return the black blurred element to its original position and adjust its transparency. As a result, I've created an icon with a glass morphism effect like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.